Yeah, I think I just got you now. You are here, probably you want to send unlimited emails with SMTP or you are here because you want to build your own power MPA SMTP. Whichever way, welcome to this video from Virakit.com. My name is Omotayo Ulubusayo and on this video, I'll be training you out. Let me say I'll be tutor you on how you can set up your own power MTA SMTP server and uh, Quick one, Power MTA is uh, a powerful SMTP um, SMTP platform which allows you to send unlimited emails on their server, and it is being used by all these top top companies like Microsoft, like uh, Mailchimp, and some other companies uses Power MTA to send or to offer um, SMTP server to their clients. So now um, I will be showing you a quick demo on how you can build your own SMTP server using this Power MTA Auto Script Installer because I'm going to be um, introducing a new method which is Auto Script Installer, Installer which helps you to automatically install and configure um, your Power MTA and in few just five few minutes everything will be set up for you. Okay, guys. So if you want to learn how you can set up on your own you can check on the description below this video to reach me on my whatsapp or any other social media that is convenient for you or you want us to set up for you you can actually also check on the description below this video they are all affordable either you are learning or we are doing this for you but trust me if you are doing this for you you are getting 100 percent results from this so guys keep watching this video and let's get started all right, so what are the requirements to set up your own power MT server? Either you are learning or you are buying from us. One, we, we need VPS, two, we need domain, and some other things will be explained to you. So, well, basically, these are the two things that we need. So, um, we we'll get our um, VPS from Contabo, sorry, from OVH Cloud, and uh, you can get your domain from uh, namecheap.com. So, your OVH is here. So um, the next thing you need to do is to get your OVH login details, your VPS, I mean, login details, please are not VPS, then you need SSH client. So I'll be using an SSH client here, so which is a byte file. So um, you need to paste in your IP address, then initially it will be CentOS, so login with CentOS, then your password follows. Password. Copy this password here. Then we clear this and paste the new one. So the next thing we'll be doing here is that uh, click on login. Then accept and save this connection and log in. Good. So you click on new open new terminal console to open a new terminal so the first code we'll be running here is to change our is to accept root login and to do that we'll be running this command saying sudo or password root then you type in your new password don't worry it won't show just make sure you know what you are typing so you type in your new password and you click on enter so you type the new password again you click on enter then everything is done so the next command we'll be running is that we give this thing access to root login because you know we have to work on that root and not on the sample so i will be running this command so i'm running this and enter then we reboot reboot your server and by this time you will need to put in your vps password your initial password so right click and enter then it's complete good so you can just close this up then go back here and uh, this time around you'll be logging as root and you put in your new password you can type in your new password here so we log in again log in here and then open new terminal so the next thing we need to do here is to change our host name host name server so i'll be using this command then um, the domain name we'll be using is this. We'll be using this domain name. Tell 
source.us this is the one I will be using so our um, host name will carry this node.source.html and click on enter so you can confirm this by typing host name and see you can see it's now there but we need to log in as uh, this host name so it needs to be root at node.com so to do that you just need to reboot this reboot then you wait a bit before you click on shift p okay we can go on the shift and p now it's open a new folder all right you see um in this video don't forget it's a demo it's a quick demo to show you that we can actually set up for you or you can actually learn from us so there are some things that will be hiding from this video there are some command line that will not be shown to you guys uh, in this video I'm sorry to say but that's how it works it's just a demo video so if you need a full guide on how to do it and uh, you can just check the description below and get in touch with because um, there are some things that have been caught before we even get there and there are some other things that will be cut off before we end this video so before we go on we need to go on our spark post and do one or two things there so i'll log into the spark post now so on this uh, spark post there are some things that we need to put in here before we can get our information we're just going to put them so we're going to have this and we need to configure our dkin so i'll copy this my dkin now which was gotten from spark post and don't forget spark post is the own own um, owner of our power mta so i'll go on my domain manager to configure this so i'm um, going to clear this away and paste the new one then um, i'll go back in here to copy this again then go to my domain manager then uh, i'll clean this and put this so guys again if you need a full course on what to us to set up for you you can actually check on the description below this video to reach us on our whatsapp or on our telegram or whichever social media that is convenient for you so once this is done you click on this map with the save changes so let's go back on our console and the first thing here is to run this um, power mta command line which is um john install okay okay john and the list installation is in progress so this is done i will run the next command so is it's installing then enter to install power mt version 7 so it's installing our advanced power mt version 7 and once this installation is done we need to copy something from our uh, back post so i will go in here i will copy this etc then let's go back here and see if it's done okay it's done good so next thing is to write type cd space then this command and click on enter then we need to install vim so vim is being installed so we we'll wait for it to be done so it's now done so the next thing we'll be doing is uh type this vim or vim then copy the code from your spark post again then you come down here and space right click and enter then it's open a new file you click on a to insert so we set a code from our spark post again then i'm going to paste in the code uh, this is this make you and enter good so we are done with this so the next thing is to install our config file so to do that we just run this command enter and copy the next command don't worry every command will be given to you if you are getting the course on this and uh if you are doing it for you you don't need to bother yourself we deliver to you your credentials and your power mta um monitor link so i'm pasting the config file now which is this then enter to close this is done so let's check so let's use Favis pmta restart to check if it's okay now it's okay everything is now working well so let's try to send message out so using smtpa.net before i forget there is a way you can set your smt credentials from your config file again these are the information i will just click on send and see message send let's check our mail and boom you can see it here it's successful this is how to set up check on the description below and check us on our whatsapp thanks